down those three points, but it's not over yet. And uh, opting not to joust on that one. So uh, giving possession here, first possession. They trust their defense, apparently. They need to trust it. They need to get it going. That pass that will be going there it is. and showing up, throwing down. Push this to three rounds. Obviously, they have to take this round. It feels tenuous right now. And that's... Yeah, and real quick, at Luke's is going to get that one picked up oh. at mid. And wow. very quick, just like... He's looking to put uh, some points on the board. And it goes quick pass over to Oculizator, and he's going to score these. He scores these, unless he's going to take too long. It's done. Yes, he does. Just like that. Who still puts the Skyline defense is back as the burners pick it up on their side of the zone. Passing up to the ceiling, passing down to the floor. Another cut pass command on the goal, spun around the back, and the law. Slam dunk for two. They're evading Spectro, playing some defense on there. A pass connected successfully now to Bob. Now that is a deep fling, and that is a successful three. Big boy, Bob. Holy. Pulling that chain out. Are you kidding me? Look at Tim, the little dance. What is that? Prioritize the fact that, hey, if one team, if Astria can score nine points in five minutes, well, so can Equilibrium. Future. And now Invictus existing in OCE with quite the bright future as Zane seeing the future, saying, I'm gonna wait right here. That disc is gonna come to me. We get passed right back, but Vibe Goalie taking it right back. Long three, long three, long three, long three, yes! Mail slot, Vibe Goalie he starts it off. Three, a 13, 10 point lead dislocated. Pass down to White Fox. White Fox potentially going for the soul, going for the juke. Oh, oh, Double, oh, triple, oh. that's gonna be a 3v4. So we're not be bouncing high uh, to nobody just yet. Ender trying to get there first. It's going to be Palace to slap that one out. Oh, no way. Strabitsky. Ooh, ooh. You can't do that. That's a nine-point lead there. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's self-explanatory. I'm just, I'm just curious how that goes. Like, are you guys in the same Discord? You know, the reserve teams and the reg regular teams? Or I mean, how does it all work? Oh, it works like that. Oh, Jack. Oh, no. That's it. Sunk it. But it's going to be uh, a scramble. Unavailable, but now to Rich. Rich to the backboard. Intercepted, though, by Lufu. But it is going to get picked up by Rich again. Trying to dive in. Trying to get two. going to be recovered here by Dan Mac. Dan Mac's not able to clear it though. Recovered again by email. Email to anchor oh shot. God. 18 three pointer. That was sick. Have the time that they need by diving in. The time is now as they're duding, but no denied by Anubis who is able to get that one out. But Leech, but it's one. It's against an empty net. Trying to get the hand on that disc. It's a 1v2 though. No pressure. No time. Diving in though. Going for a pass. He's going for the 1v1 and they get it. Oh my goodness. What was that? A 1v3? Two points on the board for overkill. Quick bounce pass to Callan off wall and with, with the reception pass, passing it all the way to Captain Will, who's pretty much wide open. Just gonna take his time, wait for Rosie to pressure, then cuts it all the way to Supreme. Supreme with the cut pass. Wow, he's so pressured. There's so many people in that lane, but he still, he found an open lane and got it through to his teammate. What a catch by Callan. But if under pressure, takes a shot, but the backline player, O'Chappy, jumping in, sending it through. The stack is good. Good. They are flying through. The goal is open for a moment. They're going to have a window, but it's going to close soon. Pajatek sending it in. We've got a two-point game with a minute and a half left. Absolutely flying right now, having a little bit of open space, but uh, Overkill also adding their own pressure. Passing over to BigBot. BigBot with a little bit of space to operate. Chocolate Ooh. with a slap in. They're up by two. I think it's going to be very good with that chain collecting the clear with a cross pass dodging wow. with the slap as well into goal. Very clean, very fast beam passing right there. Oh, a goal was not scored, so Acorn is going to get a clear. Yeah, and maybe Chocolate doing the same thing that Al did on the other side, just forcing, oh, what a save by Al again. So these defenses are stopping so many goals. They're causing players to shoot for pockets, and that's that's causing big-time misses. So uh, here we go. We have got a little bit of a dribble play. That's got a chance. It's going to be a back sack flying in. Al, oh, what? what a save by Sweet Tooth. I don't even think he was looking he at the disc. I don't think he was looking. Was that a no-look save? Just put the hand out and hoped, and they got it to go either way. Can they do it twice? No, tried to headbutt it, but a three-point hit from Al will secure a lead by a narrow one. Sausage 
looking for another pass up field. It does connect. That would bounce erratically, but Max diving around, diving in, just diving right to the goal for two, and just like that, it's 11 point game. Max with the disc, looking to cross it low with, oh, the thing stunned, but he just became unstunned just in time to make that save. Really well done there, there by Lil Rad. National taking his time, looking for the passes, makes that quick pass to Galti. Galti looking for the cross pass post. Lil Rad with the shot attempt. Paja with the save and the clear, but bouncing straight back into the hands of his own team stack. The clear does hit Cloud. It is actually perfect for them though, and they get set up for the easy two. And now it's a tie game. Retrieve it, tries to clear it themselves, but well, I mean, they technically did. And now they get to dribble with a three point attempt, but a goalie's there and makes an awesome save. Pulled only one here, and now we've got Kronos on the offensive joust. Quick pass to the left tunnel. Scrubs now taking his time, trying to get past that chain. Really good passing here, really good work around the chains, and now they have an open three attempt here, and it will go in. That was textbook by Kronos. Flying in, sending it to the, to the right side. They have it open. Mosh, gonna pass to a cut. And hello and welcome to VRML Channel 1. This is certainly going to be fun. I'm the one you see, and alongside me is Newton Dad, as always. But also huge shout-out to all the new onboarding crew and the production team. They're just shadowing this one. Uh, shout-out to Aiden VR, uh, Zodiac Lord, and the rest of them who are here right now. Uh, Retap Worm, one of the production leads, you know him and a JG as well. But this is gonna be a good one. How's it going, Jinx? Hopefully you're doing well. Hello, this is Craft House VR. Hello, Craft House VR. Uh, whoop, Luke and Newton Dad. Indeed, it's the dynamic duo, uh, as they say. Uh, thank you for the Hydrate Reverse Boar. I appreciate you. <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> well, thank you for the Hydrate. Although I didn't remember how to swallow. One sec. <coughs> All right, we got there. We got there. But yeah, it's invalid in orange, freak in blue. And man, when I was talking to them before this match, they were feeling good. Invalid's confident. They got a crew of people hungry for their first win. Again, this is a new team for cycle two. So you know what? Lots to see, lots to see. But Freak, though, is also feeling comfortable. They have had a rough season. They've been around. They've been around in bronze. Maybe this will be another rough game. I don't know. This is their third game. Uh, so, you know, you never know what to expect. As we are just waiting for these ready ups to come through. Reverse for lol. Yes, well, you know what? You just talk through it, and uh, I feel like I didn't choke anymore. So that's good. Uh, go Anthony and Toasty. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Anthony. Uh, Anthony T44 was in fact on the team I first played against in VRML. Uh, so I think that is super cool. Uh, I'm glad that he is uh, he's vibing. He's having a good time on it. He skipped a few different teams, but um, you know now he's here. And uh, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm think he's happy. So it's uh, it's a good time starting his own team, being a captain. Uh, so it's a good time. It's a good time here for sure as we do get the ready ups from one team Do we get it from the other? Yes, we do and uh, gambling is fun, but uh, don't do it too much uh, Six seven six nine So here we go. It's certainly going to be a good time here on Channel one we are gonna close those prediction polls very shortly. Let's say uh, nine minutes uh, So you have one minute but that is going to get won by Invalid. Invalid getting that one downfield. Will not get picked up, though. Now, ZY or ZY. Z? I don't know. I don't know what he's going for. I'm going to say Z because I assume he's not Canadian and going for Z. Uh, but there's a shot, maybe. Uh, but no, there's a goalie back. So looking for their opportunities. But no, denied as that is going to get picked up by Ziptic. But right back by Little Pup. Little Pup sending that one down. Sending it through. But who is going to get there? 
Uh, will a uh, little pup might? Yes. Z, though, bouncing through, ducking. Sending that one downfield. Not going to quite connect. Yeah, shout out to Anthony coaching the, the rookies. Uh, both the rookie team making it happen. But making it happen is Z. Unfortunately, not quite fine on the back of the net. No siree, but it is going to bounce around. Will it get picked up? Not quite sure. Yes. Toasty to the backboard, though, and the anchor. Z getting two on the board for Invalid. Toasty the Goat, says Icy. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. But that's the minute. So we are going to close the prediction polls here. I am going to close them right here, right now. So get your votes in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Well, here is the Joust advantage for Freak. Let's see what's going to happen. But that's not going to get well for them. Toasty, the OG, the legend, is going to pick this one up. Uh, and that's going to be two more. Z. Doing so well. The Toasty Z combo, the Wombo combo, uh, as they say. 4 0 invalid. Uh, Nova talks. So they are both new teams. So they're both bronze, bronze rated. Uh, Little Pup, Nick Cindy, the boys, Savage. Uh, they're all no previous experience, but invalid. Uh, they have experience across the board uh, in the higher ranks. So uh, a, a bronze rated match. However, uh, certainly won't be bronze for long with a shot like that. Z, three more, 7 0. Oh my goodness. What a start to this match. What a great game, but there is an opportunity here. Freak trying to get freaky with the goals, but it's going to be Savage. And that went downfield all the way bouncing through. Is that going to bounce in? Well, it may have, uh, but Z is saying no, thank you. But he's going to go down all the way now. Picked up, no. Sent down, yes. Stacked down. Oh, just barely missing it. So it is going to get turned over by Savage. Now, is he going to get stolen? A little bit of uh, back and forth here. Lots of stuns. But who's going to win on? Oh! Are you feeling warm? Because it's toasty in here. 10-0. Invalid. What a fantastic game so far from Invalid. Uh, lots of time, though, to come back. We're only three minutes in, a few minutes in. It is going to bounce all the way down, though. If that was a little bit more to the right, it would have gone in, but unlucky. But definitely putting up a fight here. Uh, Freak getting some opportunities, but no. Uh, that is going to get turned around and uh, maybe sent downfield by Invalid. No, they're, they're C, the two players on the back line. They're counting. They're C, one, two. Uh, he is here. That means one, two is back there. And they want, don't want, they want to make sure to get it through. But it's not going to quite connect the way they want it to as Ziptic. Uh, he sends that one back down. But Little Pup is going to intercept. Sends that one up. Cindy. Cindy. Taking their time. Oh, they get that three. No way. What a shot. Three on the board for Freak. All right, I mean, that's a way to start a match, man. I mean, you know what, Freak, they're early on. Uh, yes, uh, Ligma, uh, Freak is bronze, Invalid is currently bronze, but uh, you know, they should they should quickly move up the ranks. So one of those times, you know, you win some, you lose some. It is a challenge match, so it was, uh, was opportunity, uh, optional rather, but uh, they did decide to go for the challenge as uh, this is gonna get moved back into the Invalid zone as uh, the boys is going to move up. Looking for the option, but no, not quite finding it as the stuns do come through again. Great, fantastic defense, as we expect uh, to see from these more uh, experienced teams, uh, players rather, on the side of Invalid, not a more experienced team. They're a new team uh, as of cycle two again, and that's going to get sent all the way through. But no, they're not going to read it. The stack breaking apart and not getting a hand on it. Who's there? Well, it's going to be Z, and Z doesn't get twos or threes because that's denied by s someone and passed down forward to Cindy. Now, going downfield. Slap through Savage. No. No one's there. It's moving. It's grooving. It's slapped through. And it's moving right back into the hands of Freak. But there's a shot. No. Hitting off the Geo. As that is going to bounce back. It bounced into the hands of Z. Long mail slot. No way. Ho ho. A little bit to the right, unfortunately. But there's another one. No ding ding. 
Third time's the charm, as they say, diving in, doing his thing. Z gets two more. 12 3 and valid up. Wow. I haven't thrived, my dude. Hopefully, you are doing fantastically. Hopefully, you are fabulous today. Uh, I know uh, I know, I am. As this is going to get picked up by Cindy, but stolen, and there's three more. 15 threes to score in Valid. Oh, my. Oh, my. I mean, definitely a tough time here. But uh, certainly possible to get this back. Get some more points, in fact. As Cindy is going to go for it. You do get the stun this time uh, on Anthony, T44. But there's a pass up now to the, the captain. And the captain, no, oh, not quite hit in the back of the net. But isn't he get picked up by Cindy, but stolen right back. It's going to get picked up by Zai, but stolen right back. Or Z, I don't know, you tell me. Uh, as it is going to bounce around, but not picked up by anybody on Invalid. As that is going to get slapped out, but not quite through because it's going to get picked right back up by ZZ. Now to Anthony. Anthony back for the cut, but no, maybe mis miscommunication there. Not quite being anchored enough. Maybe no passing options. Not quite sure. Regardless, it's an opportunity here for Freak, but the quick stacks from Invalid are just so, so good. Now, pass the field. Diptych. No, stolen back by Little Pup. That's a, almost a really good long shot. That might bounce in anyway. Almost finding the angle there. Uh, but it will get picked up by Little Pup. As uh, it is going to dive in. Savage, though, getting savagely stunned. But Little Pup gets it done. Five points on the board for free. Dude, Flair, I 100% agree, right? I mean, the, the skill level of this game in VRML has gone up tremendously over time. I mean, I remember when, when like, only level 50s knew how to re-grab, and now, like, level 10s, level 20s are already re-grabbing and moving around the field. I mean, it's insane, right? Let alone in VRML. So, I mean, huge shout-out to uh, the community and people who, you know, teach and try to make it grow and, and do better. I mean, it, it's incredible uh, to make it happen. A little pub is such an awesome username. I agree, Ivan Thrive. That is such an awesome username. These young whippersnappers are so good. Or should I say, I don't know. I was going to do an old person uh, accent or voice, and I decided against it. Probably not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, all right. It is going to go downfield again, though. And now it is going to get picked up. Toasty. Feeling warm. 12. Sorry. 17-5. Invalid. Alrighty, I mean, one minute counting down. Uh, these teams, uh, I don't know what team that is, ambidextrous. Um, but uh, it is going to get cleared out almost by Freak. I mean, they're, they're getting the right ideas there, right? But it is going to get picked up uh, by the quick stacks of Invalid. I mean, they're just able to punish every single mistake. But there's a mistake coming from Freak. And, and Cindy is able to punish that one. Sending that one downfield. The stacks are coming through. Do they get a hand on it? Uh, maybe. Oh, the leech was so good. But just barely not quite reaching. As that is going to get stunned out again. And we're trying to find a pass option for Freak. But no, not quite connecting. Flair, it's Luke. How's it going, my man? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing fantastically. Uh, as it is going to bounce around and get picked up by Toasty. Picked up right back by Savage. Savage, though, back to Cindy. And Cindy to the back of the net. My mic's clean, right? I hope my mic's clean. It should be. It's, it's just me. It's just me. Uh, uh, here we go, Z, moving it up field. Like that is going to get moved all the way down field to Toasty. Uh, Toasty diving. Oh, trying to find a cut pass, trying to find that team play. So important, uh, but not quite finding it. Uh, but yes, reverse. It is possible shooting 19 on quest, but 17 to 7. What a confident start from Invalid. Uh, 
as uh, that is a good, good, good time. Hello, Peekaboo, it's Jinx. No, it's Luke. It's the one you see right now here on stream channel one. And alongside me is new to that and uh, who's here for a lot of fun. Uh, and also mad shout out to all the people we've recently onboarded, specifically Aiden VR and Zodiac Lord, who are here shadowing us. Uh, but also shout out to Zodiac Lord and Dfoot, who woke up this morning bright and early and bushy tailed. Uh, to uh, join our one and only onboarding session. We were happy to have two, uh, but you know, we didn't need it because uh, all those OCE folks came through, so mad love to them. Uh, but also, if you are interested in joining the production team, we'd love to have you. It'd be a good time. Retip and I get to talk with you and have a good time. Uh, Luke, grow a beard? I don't know, man. I, I honestly think I want to cut this off. Uh, at least uh, shave it significantly. Uh, but both Retip and I posting it, nevertheless, uh, uh, make sure you do uh, you do check it out. Uh, we'd love to have you. Actually, we got a shot to win now. So, um, uh, Flair, let's see, my man. Let's see you get into Diamond. I'd love to see it. Uh, but yes, new onboarding every few weeks. Uh, we, you know, we're always accepting new applications. So make sure you do apply. Um, you know, it wouldn't be the same without you. Because at the end of the day, I mean, huge shout out to our sponsors. Huge shout out to Ignite and and uh, Spark the application and all that. But most importantly, huge shout out to you folks in chat. Right? It, it wouldn't be the same without them. And and you know, we're all here to try to make it a little bit better. Right, and uh, you know, making it better is uh, is all the people joining the team here and making that possible. So, definitely interesting into that. Definitely make it casting real. Yes, you do, Ivan Thrive. Make it happen. Make it happen. Join the team. Have some fun. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. But what's also gonna be a good time is this second round. It's gonna be incredible. I mean, I need a shout out right here, right now. Z, Z with nine points on the board and Toasty with eight. I mean, both those players absolutely crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Um, but you know what? It's uh, it's a good time um, because you know what? There's some amazing saves, amazing team play coming from Freak. And that's what's important at the end of the day, right? I mean, we're here. We're here to win. We're here to be sweaty, competitive tryhards. But we're also here to have fun, right? And these players are, are, are certainly able to do that. Um, so uh, you know what? It's a, It's a good time. It is a good time, but uh, yeah, you know what? Sometimes you uh, sometimes you win. Thank you, Chromium YT. I'm not gonna choke on my water this time. Uh, shout out to Reverse Boar, uh, but uh, Chromium YT, I will uh, I will drink it. One sec. All right, I did it. It's like I have something slimy. I'm not sure. Anyway, but uh, zero zero, new round, new game, new me, and this pause is certainly. Uh, going to help with the mental game, right? I mean, the mental game is so, so, so important, right? The mental game is is everything, right? If you come into a match thinking you're going to win and you don't do well right away, your mental game is hurt. If you think you're not going to do well and you start winning, your mental game is confident. I mean, right now, Invalid is coming in confident, but here is the second round, and who is going to take it? Well, it's Invalid is going to take the neutral joust at least. Uh, as that is going to get picked up and the bounce almost finding the way in but it will get picked up instead uh, by Zeptic. Oh, that's a self goal from the boys. Get in the way that three, at least two on the board for Invalid. 12, 11, 10, Aqua Egg, eight, it's okay that you're late seven, but six, we expect you to um, four, now uh, go buy yourself a cake and celebrate that you're watching some Aqua Egg. That's what we want. That's your punishment. That sounds like a punishment, right? Uh, <laughs> All good, man. But uh, welcome to the chat. Uh, love. Uh, thanks for being here. Sounds fixed. Got a earbud, says Claire. Much love. Uh, I'm. Hello. Hello. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, a cake. Yeah, that sounds like punishment, right? It's like um, it's like that movie. What was that movie with the person who has superpowers? Um, but like she's actually just a little girl. Um, I don't know. Anyway, the punishment is cake, right? Um, I don't know what movie that was. Matilda. Yes. Yes, Matilda. Yeah, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. But maybe not like that. You just eat it like a little piece of cake or whatever and have fun. Unless you don't want cake. In which case, get yourself a dessert. Enjoy this room. Enjoy the show. Uh, and have a good one. But it is going to get picked up and downfield by Invalid. Uh, as that is uh, going to bounce around. But no, little pup says no thank you. Getting that one down. Uh, but it is going to get picked up by Toasty. Toasty cut across now. To Anthony and Anthony. Slopping into two. Four zero Invalid. All righty, all right, here we go. What a pass indeed. 
I agree this needs to be played. But the boy is now moving this one downfield. He can't do it too often, play, or you don't have enough points. But people can't do it too often, so they don't spam it all the time. Uh, there's a bit of a cooldown. Maybe you didn't realize that before. Maybe it's because you're usually the one spamming it. Um, <laughs> it's going to get sent down. Um, uh, so that isn't going to get sent right back by Invalid. And uh, sending the one downfield. Bouncing up, bouncing around, bouncing into the hands of Invalid. And that's a valid catch. And that's a, not a valid goal. But no, not finding the opportunity there. Unlucky as it is going to bounce around. Will it get picked up uh, by Anthony? Yes, Anthony duking around. Finding an option. Quickly getting almost pressured and almost stunned. But it's going to be a four on one. And they get two more. Zai, 6-0 is the score. Looking good. I don't know. I keep on changing up the pronunciation of his name. Is it Z? Is it Zai? Is it uh, is it something else entirely? Is it Z? Is it ZY? Is it Spy? I don't know where the P comes from. I don't. I, I don't know. Too too little. Too little. Too few consonants or vowels. Too many vowel consonants. Not enough vowels. Uh, but that is gonna be a good duck from Z. That is going to bounce almost in. Oh, what a shot opportunity. But it is now going to get slapped downfield by Nick Cindy. Uh, as it is going to get uh, there by the boys. The boys, though, now getting picked up by Savage. Savage, no! Oh, the right idea for sure, but not quite finding it. Uh, as that is going to get picked up by Ziptic. Uh, but Ziptic... Uh, moving downfield, slapping through, slapping around, but no, not going to get three or two as Little Pup will get a hand on it. Now to Cindy. Uh, Cindy moving downfield, bouncing. Oh, but not into the hands of Freak as it is going to get picked up by the boys. But the boys are trying to dive in, but no. It's X is epic. Oh, thank you, Retier. I appreciate you. Or Retier, Retier, Re X is epic. Good, uh, good number. Um, but uh, that is going to get picked up by Z. And Z! Oh, getting stunned, unfortunately. Um, so it is going to get picked up uh, by Toasty. And at Toasty passing upfield to Z. Z, the anchor, not for three. Certainly a great opportunity, though, as Toasty tries to find a pass across. Will get picked up by Anthony T44. Um, and that is going to dive in. One more pass. One more shot. But no, not quite finding it. But a great recovery again. Z! Gets to finally 8-0 in Valley. Yeah, my man. Uh, uh, I can find you to scroll up to who was. But uh, the way, the best way to get casted, honestly, is uh, to schedule your match earlier. It's the only time. doesn't matter how many hype votes we wanted to cast a match. There's only one match at 6.30, and uh, here we are. There's only one match at 7.2, and that's when we're casting. So, you know, uh, schedule the match early, especially on Mondays. And uh, you certainly have a very, very good chance Hype votes are not a guarantee. There's just a, a, a high probability. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. But it is going to be the little boys getting that one around. As that is going to get picked up by Z again. As uh, that is going to move downfield. Bouncing around but bouncing up into the hands of X is epic. Um, but uh, it is going to pass across. Anthony. Anthony. Sending that one down. 2X is epic. And X is epic. No, epically hit in the ding ring. But right around the floor of the bend is Anthony, who gets two more in. 10 out. Good times. Good, good, good times indeed. But it is going to get picked up by Cindy. But Cindy, unfortunately, sending that right to Toasty as they were stunned very quickly. But the bounce pass won't quite be a pass, more than a self-pass. Toasty looking for a back pass, diving in. Oh, but what a save! Little Pop gonna read that. Insane. But that is gonna bounce around. Will get picked up by Toasty. Toasty uh, looking right back as it is gonna find a pass. Picked up but stolen by Cindy. Cindy finding some space, finding some time. Going for the long clear. Where's the stack? Trying to find it together, but they are getting stunned. So fantastic backline play uh, from Invalid. And uh, there you go. 10-3. Cindy getting freak on the board. ZY is name is pronounced Zai. Zai is just X. Okay, cool. Thanks, mate. I appreciate you, uh, Retier. 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 Zai and X. All right, great.
So Anthony now moving it down field. And that one now picked up by Zai. Zai, long three opportunity, but no, not going to find the back of the net, but now it will. Anthony, T44 with the help of Zai. Getting two more on the board, 12-3. Uh, Doc, that's like a mini mini game thing you can uh, use using our extensions. It's one of those uh, one of those things. But that is going to get picked up by Anthony. Finding some space, trying to find the anchor pass. Unfortunately, just floating, not able to find it. But it is going to get picked up again by Anthony, but slapped down because Cindy's able to get that slap through mid. Oh my goodness, that could bounce in, but that's a little bit too far to the right. Uh, so it will be picked up by Zai, who has their sights on two more points. The break check. Oh, that's so, so clean, yet so, so mean. But it works. So uh, nothing to say on that one. Uh, but it is going to get picked up by Zai, who unfortunately loses a hand on it, as it is going to get around and high, Phenom. Hopefully you are doing so well. As Anthony is going to get that clear out all the way through, all the way through midfield. Uh, but that is going to get picked up by Savage, sent right back at the angle. No, not quite, but it is going to get picked up again on the back line. Back and forth here uh, in round two, in late round two. But uh, but Freak looking like they might uh, have a flare of hope to get some more points on the board. But that streak might be over as it is going to get sent downfield. And Little Pup is just waiting and sent it right back. Little pup. Now over to X. X picking it up. X. Taking for an option. Finding the cross pass. Anthony the shot. Oh, golly gee. 15 to 3. Invalid. Wow. All right, 50 seconds on the clock, but another opportunity here for Freak giving up that just advantage. Can they get more points on the board? They certainly can, but no! Zai! Zai, why? You just stole that from their hand, 17-3. The Kalin, my man. Thank you for the raid, appreciate you. Hopefully your stream went fantastically. Uh, maybe you taught some things to people, eh? I don't know. Uh, but much love to you and all that you do for the community. But there's a beautiful three from Anthony. Just finishing this game off. 22 3. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is the second game, and that is the second round, and that is this game. And that's going to be invalid. Taking this one soundly. Uh, no talks. Thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate you. As uh, that is going to be the win. And a peekaboo. It's me. It's the one you see. But man, what a fantastic matchup from both these teams. Great job, Invalid. You know, getting that one challenge match a week. And they chose this one. Uh, but, I mean, fantastic job from Zai. Uh, they have uh, 15 points to their name. But also, huge, huge shout out to Anthony. 12 points to his uh, Toasty also get an eight, but I mean, people on Freak, absolutely crushing it. I mean, doing such a good job, saves across the board. It's a good time. That's all we can ask for. Uh, but we are going to go right into another one. There certainly is no time to wait because the fun never ends. Next up is Entourage against Warfare. A gold matchup. It's going to be a good one. Make sure you don't go away. I'm the one you see. And alongside me on the cams is Newton Dad. We'll be right back. passion is for the future.
VRWare. Our passion is for the future. Hello. Newton Dad told me to say hello, so I did. This is how it works around here. Whatever they say, whatever he tells me to say, I say it. Easy. That's just how it works, Noah. But uh, hello, welcome back to VRML Channel 1. This is going to be a, certainly another good match. We're doing up a couple ranks. And now we're in gold. It's Entourage against Warfare. And uh, man, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a close one. Entourage uh, definitely feeling good, but Warfare feeling even better. Warfare, when I was talking to Chowtown, the team at captain uh, was saying, "Thanks for casting. Of, of course, always a pleasure. Uh, our game tonight. If you need a quote, this is going to be one of the hardest games yet, but we are ready for a challenge." And many, many grinning faces and smiley faces. Uh, so, I mean, Warfare. They're feeling ready. They're feeling good right here, right now. But I mean, Entourage, they have a leader. They have a true following. They are together. They are feeling ready because Empty is feeling confident going into this. They hope to give it their best and have some fun. Uh, but they have our Lord and Savior. They have the true, true leader, the true number one. And it's David. All hail King David, they say. Um, but uh, uh, Bizarre also has feeling confident. Uh, for this match, hoping to win and climb ranks pretty fast. Uh, they've learned a couple of things throughout their previous games and scrims. Uh, so they're hoping to show what they've learned uh, and our improvement out in the arena. So, I mean, I certainly hope so. It's always great to see teams learning uh, from, you know, everything, uh, everything going on in the arena, everything going on with their team. But hey, you never know what happens until you're on stream, until you're under pressure, until you're under scrutiny. Uh, from many, many people, strangers uh, included, uh, but uh, the, he also ends off with all hail King David. So David, the fearless leader of Entourage, and I guess uh, Empty, Haizu, and Bizarre is the Entourage of King David. Maybe that's the inside joke. I don't understand it. I don't know. Uh, I'm only guessing here, but uh, uh, anyway, I, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. It is up. Go vote. I agree, Newton Dad. So far, we have lots of votes uh, for both teams. But not so many points for Warfare. It seems like they're the underdog, it seems. Uh, but nevertheless, um, new poll. Yes, Ligma, it's up. Dave, says Hill of Alex. Yes, King Dave, I think is what you meant to say. Uh, lol, 100%. Well, it's actually a 5-3, to three, so it's actually pretty good odds. But uh, just a lot more points on Entourage as opposed to Warfare. Uh, late Toast, much love to you, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Fainom, 1-2-110, exactly. Well, now it's 1-2-37, uh, so a little bit more diluted. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, it's it's there, it's there, uh, it's there. But it's gonna be a good time. Go, King Dave, Miss Revenge. You understand. You understand the Majesty, the Lord and Savior, King David zero zero, the OG, because they're zero zero. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, here we go. It is going to be the neutral joust. It is going to be these two teams. Warfare looking to fight the king and his kingdom and his entourage. So here we go, but that is gonna bounce down and quickly picked up by Entourage, but there is no open three. Yes, there is certainly, I didn't see. 3-0 Entourage. All right, I will give you another 15 seconds to put in your prediction points, prediction polls, put it in, do it now, because you won't have time otherwise. Uh, as soon as I stop speaking and wait five seconds, it's gonna close. Vote now, vote now, vote now, vote now. Because Entourage is going to dive in and yell oh, what the save, but boy RD cooking up its two self goal, unfortunately. All right, hopefully you voted. Polls are closed. 
Um, but uh, my, my, my. But it is going to get picked up again. Entourage so fast, so quick. 7 0, oh, just like that. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, King Day very well may be the GOATs as Azuras, Azurasur. Uh, because, I mean, they're just speedy as can be. Um, they are crushing it so far. It's certainty, but it's going to get cleared downfield. Will not get picked up. It is going to bounce all the way through. Will it bounce to... No, not the hands of Warfare. It is going to bounce all the way through, but bouncing around uh, into the hands uh, of... No one is there. Uh, but now will get picked up by David. David, uh, send that one across. Will get picked up by Bazaar. Bizarre moving that one downfield. How far will it go? All the way. There's not an open three, but there's a cut pass, and there's two more. 9 0. -oh. Entourage looking so good. 12, 11, 10, 9, oh my. 7, 6, oh my. 5, 4, 3, what a strong showing from them. But he is going to get another stun, another re-grab. Uh, but they aren't going to be able to turn around quick so quick. But there's a duck. And there is a two-pointer. 11-0 Entourage. Wow. This is uh, a very uh, dirty match in the best ways. Entourage just honestly just too speed. Too much speed. There's, I mean, Warfare, they need a PE joust. I don't know if they are or not. I should look in the tubes. Are they? Uh, but the uppercut is dodge. Good jump there from a Warfare. But unfortunately, Entourage is going to take that right back. The stacks are just everywhere as they are going to go in for the Joker train. They are going to dodge one, but absolutely insane. But uh, the, uh, more insane is the stun from Warfare uh, as that is going to get cleared uh, through the air into Entourage's hands and 50 doodling and uh, two more. 13 0. Entourage looking good. Well, you know, we are doing four matches tonight. This is the second of four. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain. This one's going to be very quick. So I get to save my uh, throat, make sure it's not sore. Not that it really ever is. But nevertheless, I mean, wow, what a showing so far from Entourage. But now it is going to get picked up by Chowtown over to Son of Ak. But uh, not quite bouncing back into the hands of Warfare now. Looking for two. No! Getting stunned, so not able to come through. Uh, but it is going to get picked up now by Empty. Empty, throwing that one down, bouncing around, bouncing into the hands, but no, maybe, is it going to be found? Yes, Haizu looking for the anchor and gets the three, not two, 16 oh, Entourage. Oh man. Oh man, Rowdy Artifact, shout out to the OC and the community. Much love to you. Uh, but uh, yeah, there isn't much you can do to that one. Entourage certainly looking clean. I mean, Warfare just trying to stay a well-oiled machine. As they are going to get pressured, but the Ducks, the Jukes, the pass is going to be a bounce pass. It does connect, but that back one doesn't. But it will get recovered, but stolen right back by Lykia. But that is going to get picked up now by Empty. Now, David moving upfield. Looking for an opportunity. The cut pass. Not going to get this stuck. Really? That's so cool. The disc was stuck on the shield. That's kind of nifty. Uh, but it is going to get bounced around. And Entourage will be there first. David looking for a cross pass. Cut pass. No pass. Because it's not quite connecting fast. But it is going to get picked up now by Empty. Empty, finding the passing field to Bizarre. Bizarre, moving through, but the stuns, but the two, oh my goodness, what a bounce from King David, 18-0. All righty. Now the artifact, that is unfortunate. 
Uh, but it is going to bounce around, bouncing into the hands of Chowtown, who dodges. Oh, gets a pass to Warfare. Open three opportunity. Take the shot. It's good. It's three point Warfare. Getting three on the board. 18-3. All right, I mean, you know what? Never say never, Warfare uh, definitely ready to fight as they are coming into the second half of this round. It's not over, right? There still is lots and lots and lots of time, uh, but I mean, certainly uh, some uh, some plays coming from both these teams, uh, definitely insane, but they get moved downfield, intercepted by Entourage though, as Entourage is moving this one all the way through, but passing up, no. I mean, Entourage being a good team, I mean, sure, they have some players, uh, you know, Bizarre, uh, one player, rather, uh, Bizarre with Diamond Experience, everyone else, Bizarre and Haizu, uh, but the other two players are gold. I mean, this is a gold team through and through. Uh, they were, uh, they Both Diamond players finished last season off in gold, um, and uh, this one, they're in gold, too. So, I mean, it's very possible for Warfare to come through. It's just that mental game, right? That mental block where it's like, oh, they're better than us. You know, they're doing well, but, I mean, David, only gold experience. Uh, a, a bizarre, you know, again, finishing last season actually in silver. Um, looks like they're a sub there uh, for Diamond Team. So, I mean, experience, sure, but I mean, experience is only the past and the present is both these teams should be able to go back and forth. I mean, I mean, Warfare doing a fantastic job consistently in gold too all season. Uh, so definitely a staple there. So definitely some ideas, uh, but it is going to bounce through and Entourage looking for two. David will pull through 20 to 3. Entourage. Oh my. A warfare is equal to Sakura. I don't know what that is, Ligma. Maybe I'm not hip enough. Uh, but it is going to be a miss clear, but Entourage there, long 3. Oh! That would have been a way to end it. Again, if they score a three, this is game over. Uh, but they're looking for a shot attempt, maybe a, a goalie stunt. Uh, sometimes when you're trying to go for the three, it's better just to go for the two. They are just going to go for a quick reset. Will get picked up by Empty Empty. Uh, back pass, but picked up by Bizarre. And this, yes, 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 Jukin. And getting two off the head of Boyardee. 22 to three. All righty. All righty, that is going to bounce around now. It will get picked up by Empty. But Empty not quite finding success. Empty trying to send that one back. It will not get picked up. Ooh, a bit of a, uh, a spike there. But one minute on the clock. Yeah, well, Warfare can definitely prevent the, prevent the mercy here. Um, but maybe, maybe not, because Entourage is feeling, feeling it right now. They're feeling good. They're moving in. There's another pass. It's good. They're playing to win. The back and the two. 24-3. Final score round one. Entourage will pull through with the mercy. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I mean, uh, what I can say. What can I say? Uh, I mean, uh, what I can say is fantastic job from Entourage. I mean, Warfare, some great opportunities there. Shout out to Son of Ak. We've gotten that beautiful long three. Late Toast, thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate you, certainly. But I mean, Warfare has really good fundamentals, right? They're finding the passes, they're finding the plays. The problem is, Entourage is just too quick, right? I mean, David, some absolutely incredible shoves, shooting from him, 11 points to his name. A couple goals there from across his team that were uh, off the heads of goalies or even self goals, unfortunately. Or denying threes, I think that happened once. Maybe not. Uh, but nevertheless, I mean, Entourage doing so well, and, and just like an Entourage, everyone is performing a role. Everyone is doing something. Everyone is paying attention. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, 11, speed 10, wins. That's all I can say. But Warfare, 
They're looking to come and take the second round. They're looking to win. They're looking for to be that one. But is it possible? Yes. Will it happen? I don't know. Because Entourage is coming and putting on a show as it is going to get picked up uh, by David David with the quick jukes. Finding some space. Finding some time. Moving in. Just getting all the space. You can't do that. That's going to be it. That's going to be Save! Oh my goodness! What a save and a bit of a disco disc there, but that will get sent downfield the other way as a uh, Haizu is trying to find a pass connecting through, but it will instead get picked up by David again. Seemingly everywhere, omnipresent, omnipotent. Or that is going to get picked up by Haizu. Haizu moving in for the high pass to Bizarre, and Bizarre will put it in for two. 2 0 -oh, Entourage. Hilo Falex, if you're actually married, then uh, mad shout out to all the families in Echo VR, uh, whether they're uh, a parent and children or whether they're spouses. Uh, regardless, mad mad shout out to the community. It's always uh, it's always such a diversity. Even if you're memeing, still shout out to them. I mean, Newton Dad has a son playing in uh, VRML. Uh, my cousin, uh, although not my direct family, obviously, but my cousin plays Echo Arena. Uh, Sir Dimwi and his brother Broman plays Echo Arena. Um, so uh, so uh, fantastic. Uh, fantastic, uh, you know, community here. So, huge shout out to you folks, part of the community. But Entourage is going to pick up this disc, finding some passes and finding some plays. What a play! What a pass! 4 0 Entourage. But there's the stun, but the, the clear is able to come through. I mean, this is what I, this is the benefit for Warfare, right? I mean, yeah, they got Mercy round one. Yeah, you know, uh, was it close? Not really, but they're able to learn. They're able to learn how to be quicker, right? Warfare getting the clear this time. They did not get a single clear last round, right? They found those opportunities through, you know, just pure, just bruising, right? But improvements improvements all around and that's what we expect to see but there's a good passing play and, uh, there's a two more what a what an extra pass 6-0 entourage no nuke dash my cousin actually introduced me to echo back in 2018 um he got a quest one and or 2019 2018 or 2019 december i think it was 2018 um and uh he got a quest one and um he was excited and he told me about this crazy game so i bought a rift s started playing echo thought it was cool uh but had no friends so stopped playing echo and then uh two years later quest 2 uh this is january so a few months after quest 2 came out started playing echo again competitively and there's two more david with that score eight zero absolutely crushing it entourage um there's a pause coming from uh warfare understandably but uh yeah so so uh quest 2 uh, came out in whatever, in November or December. I wasn't sure if I was going to get one. I was like, I don't know if VR is for me. Uh, Rift S I enjoyed, but I had played very little. Um, I actually saw my Rift S right before Quest 2 came out, so it was really good timing. Uh, but then I got my Quest 2, um, started playing a lot, and uh, switched to CB1 like a month or a half ago, maybe two months ago. So now I play on a CB1. Uh, but uh, now I'm an addict for Echo, as everyone knows, I guess, because I cast too much, so therefore, even if I don't play, I'm still an addict. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my uh, two-bit story. Uh, bye, everyone. Have a good one, Alino. Much love to you. Uh, hopefully, you're having. A, hopefully, you stay safe out there and have a good one. My twin brother introduced me to Echo in 2019, and I started playing way more than him. And I played too much. Late toast, my friend. Yes, yes, just yes. Uh, my cousin, his name is Remy. Um, I don't think he plays Echo at all. In fact, it's got to the point where I'm too high level for him, where he used to be too high level for me. Now we literally can't play together with help with him, without him like learning all the fundamentals like instantly, which isn't gonna happen. Uh, bye Alino, it's Luke, it's one UC. Or L U C. Well that's how it's actually spelled, but one UC is my in-game name. Uh, but much love to you, man. Have a good one. Uh, but the unpause will come through, so pretty quick. Maybe a roster swip? Uh yes, maybe? Yes, no. No. Never mind. Um alright, thank you, Alino. Good luck with whatever you need to do. Who? 
Oh, I understand. All right. Well, uh, sorry, I was just talking to Newton Dad. I know you guys can't hear him. I just want you to uh, 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 guess what we're talking about. And if you guess it right, I will give you the uh, prize of internal gratefulness. Um, but uh, it is going to get cleared downfield now by Haizu. Haizu looking for a clear. Um, but no, it's going to get picked up by Chowtown. Moving it right back down here. Bouncing in. Oh! Maybe uh, almost finding that angle. I mean, there is a bounce angle there. It's just uh, not quite often found. As a bazaar is looking for the opportunity here. And it will get picked up by Empty. I'm not sure how you got to an Echo. Just found it since it was free and haven't stopped since. Uh, new Dash. I mean, fair enough, man. If I got the Quest 2 and started playing Echo, then you joined the VRML team. And me and the boys were watching him and we got Quest 2 and then we started playing. Heck yeah, Rowdy Artifact. That's super dope. I wish I had a team IRL, dude. Uh, I mean, obviously I have a team IRL. They're, they're real people and I'm probably going to go meet them in a couple months here. But uh, I wish they lived closer. That would be really that would be really cool. I know some of the OCE teams, I've seen pictures where like all of the folks are like hanging out in like the same field or whatever, like, you know, nature area. Uh, but there's a cut pass and there's, oh, waiting, waiting, being patient, looking for one more pass and they get it. No, the thing. Oh, unfortunate. But I mean, fantastic passing plays here from Entourage just showing their ac their team play and their efficacy is the anchor three is saved by Borardi. Maybe he ate all his ravioli, but that is going to get passed back uh, to David. David now to Bizarre. Bizarre diving in this bubble. Back pass. Ooh, trying to go for a slow shot. Um, not quite finding it, though, as it is going to get cleared out. Uh, Rowdy Artifact, I read that. Nuke Dash. Just found it because it was free. I mean, that's a fair enough reason, man. Uh, Late Toast being old. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you mean by old. Old in video games is all relative. I was the only one who did VR Mobile apart from my other friends. Is Rowdy? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so what round is this? It's a round two, Trickster. So it's round two of three. And uh, Warfare is going to get two more. It's a six-point game. Eight-two. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, so this is round two. Um, and if you are new, VR Mel, uh is a best two out of three. Um, so uh, the first team to two points, two round wins. So that's three rounds of ten minutes long. As uh, we are going to receive a, a pause here. Um, uh, for technical issues, most than likely. So we're just going to continue chatting. Uh, that's your answer to that. Nothing but cleanliness from Entourage and from King Dave. Um, Hilo, yes. Clean and dirty. But clean gameplay. Clean passing, clean teamwork. It's incredible. Uh, okay, thanks. So other people answered it. That's cool. Maybe I did. I'm just I'm just behind in chat. Um, you going to Redshift Land, Luke? Um, I don't know. I might go. But I don't think so. I, don't, I, I probably won't, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to probably go to Europe instead. Um, I want to I wanna do that. And then, and then, and then there's going to be, a, like, I, I run a community called Tyro, and we're going to more than likely host a LAN in uh, early 2022 in February. And um, that'll go to. That'll go to. Because I, I know a lot of people, and while well, I'm sure I know a lot of people at the Redshift Land, I, I don't really, there's no point really for me in going. I, I Maybe I'll cast some games, maybe. But, like, you know, I'm not going to play. Um, so, I don't know. Probably not, but you never say never. I'm always welcome. I'm always uh, always, I'm always thinking about things last minute. I'm going to do the same here in a while. So, tricks you're not sure. Wolf. Hey, Wolf. How's it going? How are the pubs going, dude? Uh, shout out to Wolf. N newly on my team. Appreciate you. Uh, Lauren, so everyone ever talk about how this is just Ender's Game IRL? Lauren, this game is based off of Ender's Game IRL. So, everyone, I mean, everyone knows that, but for those who are in the know, they know. Specifically, obviously, Echo Combat, which ironically no one plays and everyone plays Echo Arena. But nevertheless, uh, uh, Ender's Game, huge shout out to Ender's Game, that movie making it happen. Uh, it's Ender's Game and Tron's Love Child, it's a fun size fan. Fair enough. Uh, probably an obvious question, but what's your mic? Not at all an obvious question. There's so many different mics, Simple Goose. Uh, I have a bit of a setup, so I use an SMB7, uh, I use an SM7B, uh, which myself, Pally, Sir Dimwi also use, uh, and I connect it with a, a, Dy a Dynamite 1 preamp, if you're familiar with that is, what that is, and then from that preamp, I connect it to the Focusrite 4i4 uh, audio interface, and then I connect to my computer. Um, but here we go. Got up at school and works as late toast. Yeah, Luke. Just finished up with work pubbing soon. Heck yeah, dude. Want to try Echo Combat? Dude, do it. It's so much fun. Uh, ooh, the Shure SMB7. It's a very good mic. Uh, but there's a dunk. No, there's going to go for a three maybe. Uh, but no, uh, not quite certainly. But it's going to be empty. Diving around and getting two more. 10-2 is the score. Entourage looking good. 
Yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, uh, Chromium. Yes, the, it is a very good mic. It's it's a good mic. It's like 500 bucks or something, but it's definitely worth it if you're if you're serious about audio. Um, it's the best mic you can get. Yeah, pretty much. Um, all right, the Pied mic. It's a good mic for 100 dollars and has XLR. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. I mean, there's so many good audio audio opportunities out there. I mean, you really don't need the SMB 7B. I use it for a lot of like audio engineering stuff and and uh, creation and that sort of fun stuff. If it was just for casting, it's certainly overkill. Uh, I mean, it's certainly not not unwelcome. It's certainly welcome, but you know, you don't really need it. Um, but uh, there's a quick pass up field. David though, relay play bizarre. Oh, trying to go for top pocket, not finding it. Um, as, but they're gonna dive right back in and the pump fake. And the pass. Just score the goal, my man. Uh, and there we get the slam. David, 12 2 Entourage. 12, 11, 10, gonna be optimal with take twos if you're desperate to get a goal. And yeah, I mean, I mean, Trickster, I mean, Entourage, definitely a clean team, definitely very quick, definitely very speedy. Uh, but man, play clean, right? Play clean. Play, don't play mean. Don't taunt the other team if you're better than them. Just score goals. It's better to mercy them twice than 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 to taunt them. That's 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 uh, I don't like that. My own personal opinion. Again, not a mod, but there is a sportsmanship rule um, that is in the rules for a reason. I mean, don't don't. It's not textually being toxic, but I mean, if you can slam the goal in, slam the goal in, you know. Um, and that is going to be a shot. What an angle. Uh, two more points for Entourage. AKG Perceptions are good mics for vocals. I don't know if I've heard of AKG Perceptions. I'll have to check that out, Wolf. I've been thrived. Just Entourage is doing lots of unnecessary passing. It's not explicitly toxic. It just, they have, they, the goalie's stunned. They can slam it in, but instead they go for a pass. Like, just score the goal, dude. Just score the deal, goal. Uh, but Entourage will get the stun through again. And here's an open three. Are they going to take the shot? Please do. No, they're going to get stolen warfare playing the 3v4, but they don't care. They are getting these turnovers. Uh, and they're going to get all in the hair and all up in the face of Entourage, who that is going to get uh, slammed through. Uh, but it is uh, going to get picked up. I'm not saying, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's necessarily toxic. I'd be a little bit strong. It's just unsportsmanlike. Like, if you have the idea to score, like, it's like look at this. Look at the shot. Oh, they almost hit it. But, like, they tried, right? But, like, that's trying. That's, like, actually doing your best, and that's being sportsmanlike. Doing for an, an, an extra pass where the goalie's stunned and you know it's going to go in 100% chance. That, that, I don't know. Anyway, great dive. Great shot. Bizarre coming through. 14-point lead. Uh, Entourage definitely doing well. 57 seconds on the... He is on Hot Drop, I do believe. Ivan Thrive is a toast. Uh, he's one of the subs. Um, and uh, he also has a podcast. Shout out to him. I think I'm on his next one. Maybe that was not Oh, whatever. Um, as it is going to get sent up and uh, bouncing around. It will get picked up by David. David sending it right back, looking for a quick pass up field. See, this is the quick play we expect to see from Entourage. 30 seconds on the clock and three. It's a certainty. What a shot. 19-2. That Friday, 10.30. Heck yeah, dude. Seven, Forward to it. Six. six seconds. They get a three. It's a double mercy. Entourage certainly can do it, but let's see if they will. Ten seconds now. The quick stacks are coming through. They Do they get the stun? No. They don't. And it actually will be through. It's an open three points. Oh, what a save from David. Warfare trying to get more on the board, but unfortunately not getting this one done. 19 to 2, that's going to be it. Entourage takes this one in two. Oh my goodness, what a game, what a game. Absolutely insane saves and plays from Entourage. But I mean, Warfare finding those opportunities even with the 3v4. So incredible hype for them. But 15 points apiece for David and Bizarre. Much love to them. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, only the three from Ak. And uh, um, that's it. That's it, just the three for Mac, and the two was uh, unfortunately a self goal. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, great, great, great job from both these teams playing their hardest out there uh, for most of the time. As uh, Entourage, you know, unfortunately, uh, or sorry, Warfare, unfortunately, having some technical issues, so happened to drop down to three. But such is the way of life sometimes. Nevertheless, fantastic game to watch, as always. Uh, but hey, uh, you know what? If you are still hanging out with us and you do want to get your match casted, make sure you do try to get those match schedules as early as possible, especially in those kind of off-peak hours. If there's anyone willing to cast, that's the best way. But really, the best way to get a cast is that hype votes. There's no favoritism. It's just hype votes. That's it. 
And, uh, you know, if, make sure if you are the only one at the time and someone wants to cast it, well, guess what? You're next in line. It's going to be you. Uh, but if you uh, put in 15,000 channel points on this stream, then you can get casted uh, as you demand, as you deem fit, uh, whatever match you want. How do hype votes work, this fun size fan? Great question. So uh, hype votes are the little blue check marks on the matches page. So here's the matches page. I'm going to put it in chat. Um, so if you click that page and you see the little orange check mark or up arrows, if you click it, that's a hype vote. So if you see this last match we did had 10 upvotes, plus it was the only match at the time at 7 o'clock Eastern or whatever time zone it is for you half an hour ago. Um, therefore, that's the most hype voted match. Um, uh, later on, we are casting at, at 830 and the match I selected uh, was Rusty Robots against Go Getty simply because it has the most hype votes, 15 hype votes. So therefore, it's number one. Um, and we also are doing one at... Uh, what are we doing? One at eight? Oh yeah, there's also one at eight. Um, uh, there was no other matches at eight, but uh, the one, the first one that was scheduled was Hustle and Flow by Mantis. I saw that one first, and uh, there you go. Right now, it only has two hype votes on my screen. And sure, Dark Dragons Ice Mafia has three, Kingdom Heat Wave has four. But again, you know, uh, well, people who are first win, right? Uh, Hustle and Flow against Mantis was the first game scheduled, and therefore they got picked, right? So that's kind of the way it works. Look, Luke, do 50 hype votes make you go? I should definitely cast this. Um, 50 hype votes. Generally, yes. If there's a match that that has 50 high votes, we'll try to get it casted. The key is we have to kind of be aware. So, no, I'm not going to... Uh, what I will say is that, you know, if you have a lot of high votes, like, you know, we want to find it. We want to find it, right? Um, but at the end of the day, if we if we don't see it, I mean, it's not a, per it's not a perfect system. It's the best one we got right now. Uh, we're always trying to improve it, but... Uh, you know, it's also based off availability. A match can have 50 hype votes, but honestly, if it's at a time where no one's free, I mean, that's really unfortunate. Um, but, like, then it won't get casted. I mean, hell, last week, um, right after Challenger's Cup on Monday, I think, there were some hype Master Tier matches, or maybe it was on Tuesday, and no one was free. So they didn't get casted. I mean, it doesn't matter what level you are. There's no bias to that. I mean, sure, on VRML 1, we try to do the Master Tier matches, Diamond Tier matches, you know, the higher level matches, you know, if they're there. Um, you know, and they're, but generally, typically, they're also more hype voted, right? Um, so that's kind of how it works. Um, it's not a, it's not a, it's a, you know, there is some gray area there. There's gonna be a match at 10. Rowdy, uh, yes, your time, 10 o'clock a.m. Um, but for everyone else, 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, cent uh, Eastern time, 7 o'clock Central time, or uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time here on uh, Channel 1. And there also will be one at 8.30 on Channel 1 and uh, also one on Channel 2 as well. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, we had a game against Destroyers where there was no cast that day. Exactly, right? Um, I think that was the hype match that people were talking about um, that I was re referencing at least, right? It, it, it's not a perfect system, but, you know, we're always trying to expand our team. So that is a perfect segue uh, to if you are interested in joining the production team, I have to shout out uh, all the new folks here. Um, Aiden VR, uh, Zodiac Lord, uh, Dfoot, um, Dime, and Meiji, who have joined the production team as part of our first onboarding cohort. Um, but we're having more cohorts every three weeks. This is just the first one, and we onboarded them today. So apply. Apply, take a look. Retip and I will uh, look through all the applications as long as you, uh, you know it's a quality application and uh, you took it seriously and you didn't think you were applying to join a team. We, uh, you would be surprised at how many applications there are with people thinking they're trying to join a VRML team, not the uh, production team, but like a like they want to be like a midfielder or a striker or a goalie. I'm sure you're a great midfielder, striker, or goalie, but you know that's not really the place to apply for that. Um, so uh, just make sure you're, uh, you're kind of staying on track there. Um, but uh, GG's empty. Thanks. Uh, our pleasure, my man. Um, but, uh, um, um, you know, nevertheless, uh, haha, well, XD says Wolf, yes. It's very sad. It's very funny. It was funny at first, and it's like, okay, uh, I see we have like five new applications, and like two of them are, are like people thinking they're trying to join a team. It's not a, this is a team, but it's a production team, not a VRML playing team. Uh, anyway, nevertheless, I digress enough about the team. Enough. Uh, hopefully all that casting stuff makes sense. Um, but yes, we will be back here in just about 20 minutes. We will go live again. Uh, Wolf, if you want to do some pubs, I'm down. Let's do it now. Um, but uh, otherwise, that's it. That's all uh, for me. I'm the one you see. And alongside me is Newton Dad. Huge shout out to our sponsors, uh, uh, Asterian Products, uh, ProTube VR, uh, Rebuff Reality VR Cover, and VRWare.net. Also, IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application for providing all those stream statistics. But most importantly, folks, seriously, shout out to you folks in Twitch and in the future on YouTube watching this VOD. Um, you know, it wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you for being a part of Echo Arena and thank you for a part of being a part of VRML. Uh, so we appreciate you so much and we will be back. See you in 20 minutes. Don't go too, too, too far away. Bye bye.
Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products VRWare Rebuff Reality VR Cover and ProTube VR <laughs>